Houston's behind the counter. PMS occurs after ovulation and before menstruation, and it's due to a fluctuation of hormones in the body, which can cause a bunch of not so fun symptoms like bloating and backache, headache, irritability, and low energy. Now, in Chinese medicine, we always look at PMS as a disharmony in the blood that almost always involves the liver. If you suffer from PMS, you wanna to try to avoid too much cold and raw foods, as well as excessive consumption of fruit, vinegar, shellfish, coffee, stimulants, sugar, smoking, and dairy products. And you wanna make sure to try to avoid all of these things at least one week prior to your usual onset of PMS symptoms. Home remedy number one. In a pot, put six cups of water, two ounces of fresh ginger, two green onion stalks, a sprig of fresh fennel, one half teaspoon ground black pepper, and two teaspoons dried orange peel. Drink three times daily, one week prior to usual onset of symptoms. Home remedy number two. In a pot, pour four cups of water, two sticks of cinnamon or rope white, and three tablespoons of dried hawthorn berries. Boil for 10 minutes, divide into three doses, drink three times daily, one week prior to usual onset of symptoms. In Chinese medicine, we almost always use a combination of Chinese herbs that are mixed together into a formula. But here's a few of the more commonly used single herbs that you might want to look for when you're choosing a formula to soothe your PMS. Our first herb is chai hu, which helps to move stagnation in the liver and in the blood, and it's a very effective herb in calming irritability. Our second herb is dong gui, and this herb nourishes the blood, softens the liver, and it also helps to balance the hormones, especially estrogen levels. Our third PMS soothing herb is bai shao, and this herb helps to nourish the blood, regulate the menses, and it has the added benefit of brightening and clearing the complexion. Now, as always, I would love to hear from you. Have you found any solutions or tips to soothing those annoying PMS symptoms? Please leave your comments and experiences below. For more information on herbs, foods, and to be part of this health fantastic community, please visit us on kirstenscounter.com and be sure to fill out a free health profile to get a better idea of your specific patterns and what formulas are best for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.